Does it look okay? Yeah. Okay. Are you very concerned about the way you look? I just don't want to fuck it up. Uh, I don't want to be like, you know, like it's way over here. Like I'm just like, yeah, man. Um, <laughs> I don't want to look like a slob. <laughs> I don't know. Like I started doing, I started touring when I was um, 15, so. Touring? Yeah, touring. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I was in high school. Me and my brother started um started a band and we we decided that uh, going on tour was a lot we learned learned a lot more got a lot more from that and we were be, getting to be productive and creative as opposed to um, you know being in uh, Alabama where we grew up where it was like you know southern US like a lot of so is that the music you you were influenced by um not so much like really influenced by Nirvana like that was kind of the uh, the the big uh, breaking point 91 like because um, then it was getting from Nirvana into like Bikini Kill and into like Sonic Youth and and um, you know that expanding to you know other. You don't really sound like Nirvana band. though. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's true. No, but that that's just where everything you know um, realizing there's more beyond like Aerosmith or um, Guns and Roses, you know. So when did you start doing the music you're doing right now? Um, when I was a teenager, I started in high school because a friend of mine was cracking, you know, cracking programs, like stealing them, like doing, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, um, so uh, he gave me a, a program on my computer and me and him started just like, you know, we would just like stay in uh, uh, the guest house of my mom's house and we'd just like write a bunch of stuff on it. And um, then we ended up, we, we wanted to see this band play, so we put a band together with uh, the computer music to get into the, uh, the show, the Butchies, actually, yeah, in Birmingham. And so we walked in with all of our equipment and um, just like walked in and there's like some Coke machines in the back. So we like set it up by the Coke machines. No one asked any questions because we didn't want to pay. We didn't have any money. And then we like got in and we were just like, all right, fuck it. I guess we're going to play. And then right before the Butchies started, they were setting up and we just started playing. And no, no one the whole night ever asked, who are you or why are you here? So we ended up getting in for free and we ended up playing. So it was cool. Yeah, it's pretty so, rad. So now you're all by yourself just performing? Yeah, I have some people that come in and out. Like, um, yeah, I was doing stuff with Allison Wolf for a little while, like here and there, and um, and uh, Jenny from Erasa Rada. Yeah. Um, she, w uh, she was supposed to come on this tour, but um, but her record got pushed to fall, so then, because she was, you know, whatever. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just did a video thing with Drew Daniel and so, yeah. So, did you bring anyone right now? By myself, solo. <laughs> yeah. Solo. And so you started very young and did you just go to school? Um, well, my brother did, but I, uh, I, I kept getting signed excuses for school and then I ended up graduating with a, um, with a very high uh, diploma, a uh, advanced with honors diploma, but I think I think that was more based on uh, like kind of charming and trying to talk my way into getting getting good grades as opposed to like getting actual good grades. I don't know how it happened, but uh, I graduated somehow. But I didn't go to school that much at all. Did you graduate in Alabama? Yep, Mobile. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty weird. And then right after that, I moved to California. I was like, "Fuck this! I'm out of here." <laughs> like, um, what band do you like from Berlin? I really like Cobra Killer a lot. Um, I really like Noisy Pig. I like uh, Stereo Total, Peaches, um, Electro Cute. So there's um, actually a lot of music that's kind of like your music. Yeah. What's the difference between you and the others out there? <laughs> um. Probably nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I mean, they're all they're all individual, you know. Like, but is there like something about you that nobody else has? I don't know. Probably not. Oh come on. Uh, <laughs> well, they didn't grow up in Alabama, I guess. Um, mm, yeah, they didn't grow up in the South, I guess. None of the people I know, at least, you know. <laughs> so, um, for tonight, what do you expect, like? What do you expect this show to be like? Like, what, what, what do you want to get out of it? Um, I hope it's uh, totally bananas and just nuts, like you want to crazy. Have people throwing weird shit on the stage. Doing whatever, getting on the stage, like you know, like. It's not too big up there, though. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it'll be, I predict it'll be really fun, you know. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know, the whole tour so far has been great, so. That's cool. I'd be surprised if Berlin was a, uh, no. a bomb. I think it'll be fine. It yeah. What's up, Vice Cooler, Oakland, California, here in Berlin, new LP, Dollar Indeed, on Southern Recordings. Come and buy it online, southern.com, retarddisco.com. What's up, Berlin? That's that cool, good? thank you. <laughs>